it's often said, isn't it, that uh, everybody's got a book in them somewhere, and a lot of people, I think, at one time or another in their life, think that perhaps they've got, got it in them to write, well, one book anyhow. But the few that do uh, usually don't get very much joy from the publishers. But Carol Collins, who's a housewife living at Cam in Gloucestershire, has just had published the first book she's ever written. It's called Almost a Stranger, and it's now in the bookshops. Well, Carol's on the line to me now. Morning, Carol. Good morning. Did you expect to get it published? Um, certainly not. <laughs> um, really, it was my husband who taught me into it. Otherwise, I, I'd never have even sent it away. <laughs> He's a taxi driver, isn't he? That's right, yes. What, why did he have so much faith in your book? Um, I don't know whether he had a lot of faith. He just thought, you know, I'd spent a fair bit of time on it, and he thought it was worth a try, I think. <laughs> What's it about, Carol? Um, well, it's about, it's a romance, a modern day romance, and it's about um, a girl who lives in London, and she meets a rich American film director, and they fall in love and uh, get married. Everything looks like it might be set for a nice rosy future, but um, there's problems to come and a tragedy, and eventually the husband is arrested and charged with murder. And he was convicted of manslaughter and sent to prison. Hang on, don't give it all away, Carol. Oh, Nobody no, will buy your book. Oh, yeah. that's the oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Uh, you call it a romance, uh, Carol, but mo in, in modern days that quite often means something a bit, uh, a bit sexy, perhaps a bit ex certificate. Is your book like that? No, I don't think so. <laughs> um, we're Christians, and um, you know, I try to bring over a little bit of that in my book. So. What? Are you preaching a message then, do you think? Um, not particularly a message, but just one or two points, perhaps, you know, which I hope might help people a little bit to find Jesus, because he's become very real to us, you know. So how do you feel that a book like yours would fare against the, the uncensored sort of material that's available in profusion around at the moment? Um, I still think there are people who are looking for books that aren't full of sex, and um, I just hope that, you know, it, it'll catch on. <laughs> I don't really know. No, you've got a house to run and two children, haven't you? Yes. How on earth do you find time to write a book? <laughs> uh, well, my two children are both at school full time now, so um, I do get time during the day, and I also sometimes write evenings when they're in bed, but um, it does get a bit of a problem sometimes because I'm involved in quite a few other things as well. So. <laughs> so when they come home from school, they say, where's our tea? You say, can't give you a tea, I'm writing a book. Oh, <laughs> is no, that it? <laughs> no, I'm very definite. I always um, make sure tea's ready, and uh, when they come home, I put the book away. I think the children come first. So, you know, when they're around, I don't write, not very often anyway. <laughs> I believe you actually left school yourself at 14, didn't you, because of illness? Yes, I did, yes. So you wouldn't have any qualifications or anything like that? No, and in fact, I missed um, half of the schooling before that even, so um, I, I really was quite surprised. I thought probably you'd have to go to university at least, you know. <laughs> well, you obviously don't have to to get published. Um, yeah. Do you think you're going to make a lot of money out of the book? Um, not yet. <laughs> I think it takes quite a while, you know. You've got to become one of the really well-known ones, like Barbara Cartland, or you know, you've got to really have a name before you make a lot of money. That was a name on the tip of my tongue. Do you fancy yourself as another Barbara Cartland? <laughs> Well, um, I'm trying to make my books a little bit more um, different to one another than that she does. I like some of her books, but they do seem to be a little bit similar in content. Um, but obviously, I wouldn't mind her success. <laughs> You've got some more books in you, have you? Um, yes, there's one at, um, well, my agent's at the moment, and he's negotiating with it. So I'm on the third one at the moment. Does it feel funny to be talking about your agent and all that? <laughs> yes, it does. Very strange. <laughs> <laughs> well, Carol, it's lovely news that you've got uh, your first book published. It's called Almost a Stranger, isn't it? Yeah. Who's the publisher? Hale, Robert Hale. Robert Hale. And how much does it cost? £5.60, I'm afraid. How much? £5.60. £5.60. Yeah, well, books, books do cost that sort of thing nowadays, don't they? Yeah. I suppose paperback later on, perhaps, if it's successful. Yes, I should imagine that's the point, yes. Good for you. Well, uh, good luck for the future, Carol. Keep writing. Yes, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.